what's up guys it's Brian here um, this is gonna be my first video on my channel and for my first video I'll be making a tutorial on how to use and its user defaults using Swift alright so yeah let's get started first things first let's create a new Xcode project single view application you can call this whatever but or you can follow me I'm just gonna call this NS user defaults tutorial uh, for the organization name, it's my company name, but you can make it whatever your company name is, or you can just put your name. Organization identifier is your reverse domain, which is pretty much a website in reverse order. So you do com dot your company name, your name, or whatever. What language you'll be using is Swift. Uh, devices will be iPhone, or it could be anything. It could be iPad or Universal, whatever. We're going to use iPhone because that's what it started out as. But next, uh, save. I'm going to save this on my desktop. You can save it wherever you want. Uh, create. Oh uh, yeah, I replaced that. I already created a tutorial before. This is starting all over again. So I'm going to make this bigger. Take with the whole screen because this is how I like to code. If you're wondering how I did that, it's a shortcut. You do. You um, hold the Option key on your keyboard, and then you click this green button in the top left. It would because normally, when you ho hover over it, it's like two arrows. That's to make a full screen like this. So let me get out of that. Uh, let me get out of that. Uh, let's go back. All right. So if you hit Option though, it turns into a plus sign. Uh, some of you may have noticed. All right, here we go. First things first. Let's go to Storyboard. All right. Let's add a label to the screen. Okay. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Put it in the middle, right in about that seems good. Let's exit that. Okay. If you want, I'm gonna set a background color. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna give it a nice light blue color. Yeah. And the font, the text color will be a. Let's do. Let's do white, shall we? Let's do white. Now let's get a text field in this. Good. Now let's center align that placeholder. Let's say enter your favorite color. Great. All right. Now we need a button as well. And let's put the right underneath it and let's call this save. Now, some of you may be wondering are you not doing any constraints or whatnot? But why am Let's do this. Let's say top width and height constraints and let's horizontally line this in container good so now that's blue next one let's do this one top let's do the width constraint not the height because with ui text fields it's always static for the height unless you modify it okay so let's do that let's horizontally align as well okay for this one we're just going to do top alignment and horizontal alignment because we're not doing any with our height constraints because we didn't modify the, uh, the width or heights on it. So that's set up. Let's go to assistant editor. Let's connect these up to the code. This will be our label. Let's just call this my label. You can call it whatever. Let's do this one now. Let's call this my text field. Great. Now let's connect the button. This time we're not creating an outlet for the button. We're going to create an action. So just the action. Let's call this save button pressed. Great. All right. So let's exit out. This is an editor. Go back to the main view. Here we are. Now wait. Let's go back to the storyboard. What do we want to do again? We want to let's say we want the user to enter their favorite color in here, and then once the user presses the save button, it's going to save it, and this is going to clear out. And then when the user exits apps and comes back in, this label will be populated with whatever color is saved. All right, let's just get that done. So save one. Let's create a variable to hold the user's input. So let's call it user input. You go to my text field dot text. Now user input will contain whatever text is in the text field. All right. All right. So let's say we. What's next again? We have to save this user input now. All right, so let's do that. And as user defaults, a standard user default, the set value 
for key, the first one right there, we're going to pass in user input. And then for key, we're going to call this a uh, color. All right. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's complaining me because we have to make this a constant because it's only used once. So there we go. And it's not being modified for this code block anyways. Uh, and then in the view did load, right? Or oh, actually, let's create a function here called view will appear. No, wait, wait, yeah. View will appear. There we go. And here we're going to do if let color equals to ns user defaults. That's stand user defaults. That value for key. We're going to pass to the color key here that we declared down here, right here. All right, it's complaining because we don't have the brackets that will go away. Now, whatever, see, it's complaining right here, is we're checking for if there is a color for this key. And now if there is, right, we're gonna set my label dot text to equal to color. And that's pretty much it. That should do it. Now, uh, if you want to be all fancy with this, you can do my label dot background color and set it to to a NS color. No, not NS color. UI color for um actually no, I think that's good. Let's just do that. Let's test this out. Let's test this out on iPhone 4s. Now let's run it. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Let's load it up. There we go, it's loading up now. And we should have right in the middle. There we go. Great. Now into your favorite color. Let's say my favorite color is blue. As you can tell, because I saved this as blue. Now when we hit save. Great, now it should be saved. Now one thing we didn't implement, we didn't implement the logic that when you hit save, this text field will be cleared out. But we we'll do it after. Let's just check it right now. So I hit save. Now let's close, let's stop the app. Go back to similar, open it up again. And if it all worked out, this blue thing should have whatever we received. Now, if you don't think that worked, let's try it again. Let's say green, all right? Let's hit save. All right, let's close up app. Okay, go here. And it should be green. Ta -da. All right, so let's fix this. Let's add that last code to get rid of the, let's clear out the text field. So say my text field dot text, no, dot placeholder, actually, equals blank. Let's test this out. Now, if that should do the trick, we'll see. Green, aha, see, it's still saved. Let's say orange. Save, aha, clear it out. Let's see if it will actually work. Let's stop the app. Go here, open it up again, now they should be orange, and it worked. This is the end of my first video and first tutorial. Um, this is a very basic explanation of how to use NS user defaults. And I will be making another video of how to further use NS user defaults with other uh, types, booleans, uh, variables, images. And actually, you can't use images, you can't save images using NS user defaults, so that's a uh, no. But anything else besides that you can see. And yeah, that wraps up today's video and I hope you like it. Uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.